Do you know more than 900,000 women were diagnosed with cancer in 2020, according to the American Cancer Society? This is an alarming figure. While the tests for cancer have never been more sophisticated, screening tests for ovarian cancer, which is one of the deadliest type of cancer, is still primitive. The result can be fake. Patients know themselves best. It can be difficult for doctors to detect symptoms without being told. So, recognizing some of these symptoms of cancer and discussing it with your doctor will raise the odds in identifying the disease early. The earlier it is detected, the easier it is to treat the disease. Today, we will share with you the top 15 cancer symptoms most ignored by women. Make sure you watch till the end so that you do not miss any critical signs of cancer that you should always be on the lookout for. Early detection can make a huge difference in saving a life. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment saying hi subscribe or provide any suggestions on videos that you're looking for on weight loss, health improvement or muscle building and we will respond to your comment. Don't forget to turn on the notification so that you don't miss our videos. Now, let's get straight into the video. Number 1. Abnormal Periods It is not uncommon to have abnormal periods. Many factors can affect your period. It includes stress, menopause, pregnancy, and thyroid conditions. If there is a significant change and it is sudden, then it is time to visit your doctor. This could mean heavier periods, irregular bleeding, and abnormal and more regular pain at the pelvic area. Having one or two times is normal, but beyond that, it is best to seek medical advice. Some of these signs could be symptoms of ovarian or other gynecological cancers. Number 2. Blood in the stool or urine It can be frightening to see blood in your stool or urine. Some people may assume it to be hemorrhoids or constipation. While it is common for people to have hemorrhoids, it can also be colon cancer. Colon cancer is increasingly become common to people even under the age of 50. Speak to your doctor. Colonoscopy may be needed to check for colon cancer. If you are having menstruation, seeing blood in toilet bowl is normal if it comes from the vagina. If not, it is best to consult your doctor to rule out the possibility of kidney or bladder cancer. Number 3. Persistent tiredness If you continuously feel tired every day, even after having a good night's sleep or taking caffeine for at least two weeks, it could be time to visit your doctor. Certainly, there could be many other causes of fatigue such as depression and anemia. However, persistent tiredness can also be a sign of cancer. Leukemia and lymphoma in particular make one feel a complete loss of energy over a period of time. Number 4. Unexpected weight loss Loss in weight can often be overlooked. In the quest to look slim, most women will see it as a blessing rather than a potential warning sign. This is particularly the case when it is accompanied by the loss in appetite. It can be a symptom of cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, and cancers of the colon, liver, and pancreas will often lead to weight loss. It is best to report to your doctor as early as possible. If it is diagnosed with cancer, any early treatment will increase the survival rate. Number 5. Unexpected weight gain Change in bowel habits and gaining weight can often be read as aging, diet issues, or menopause, but they can also be subtle symptoms of ovarian cancer. It is hard to detect ovarian cancer as the test can give fake results. It could be diagnosed as other diseases. If you are experiencing weight gain or a change in bowel habits for more than two weeks, visit your doctor immediately. Inform your doctor of the issues and ask them to consider checking for ovarian cancer. Number six. Persistent indigestion and nausea. It is common to have stomach pain or nausea. It can be due to issues such as food poisoning and gastrointestinal disorder.
However, if you experience indigestion or nausea persistently for more than two weeks, it is time to see a doctor. Leukemia or cancers of the liver, pancreas, and bowel can cause persistent pain in the stomach and nausea. Number seven, new headaches. If you do not typically have headaches and do not suffer from migraines, but you recently experienced regular headaches, it could mean something is not right. Many of us have headaches. If you have migraines and you are undergoing treatment, then such headaches may not be a cause for alarm. However, if it is new headaches which you never had before, it is worth to have it evaluated even if it is a minor one. A brain tumor can cause pressure in the brain and this leads to headaches. Number eight, shortness of breath. Lung cancer has been one of the leading causes of death in women. Lung cancer can cause shortness of breath, chest pain, and tiredness. As women are likely non-smokers compared to men, most women and medical providers may not consider it to be caused by lung cancer at the beginning. If you experience shortness of breath regularly, it is best to ask your doctor to consider lung cancer during diagnosis. Number nine, chronic fever and infections. Leukemia and lymphoma weakens the immune system and make one to fall ill more easily. As a result, chronic fevers and infections can be early signs of leukemia and lymphoma. If you suddenly experience illness and infections one after another, it is best to inform your doctor about it. Number 10, growth of new moles. Skin cancer has been one of the most common form of cancer in the United States. Growth of new mole on the skin could be a sign of skin cancer, especially when it increases in diameter and elevation over time. It may also change in color. When you observe such growth on your skin, plan to visit a doctor as soon as possible. Number 11, skin changes. Most people will look for growth of moles on your skin as it is a well-known sign of skin cancer. However, changes in pigmentation of the skin could not be overlooked. If you observe any development of dark patches and excessive scaling of your skin for a period of about two weeks, it is time to visit a doctor and inform them about the change. These can be other signs of skin cancer. If it is detected early, it will be easier to treat. Number 12, persistent bruises. If you are clumsy, it may not be too much of a concern if you have bruises here and there. If you notice bruises that appears on your body and it does not disappear for some time, it could be a sign of leukemia, although it can also be caused by other issues. Visit and inform your doctor as soon as possible. Number 13, patches in the mouth. If you experience soreness around your mouth, gums and lip, and it heals after treatment, there's nothing you have to worry about. However, if you see white or red patch or spots inside your mouth, tongue or gums, it is important to monitor if there is any swelling or numbness. If it does not subside with oral treatment after two weeks, it is time to visit your doctor. This can be potential signs of oral cancer. If you are a smoker or heavy drinker or have a family history of oral cancer, it is advisable to have a routine cancer examination around your mouth area for about twice a year. Number 14, difficulties to swallow. Sore throat can cause difficulties to swallow. But if such difficulties to swallow after you have taken sore throat medication for more than two weeks, it is about time to visit your doctor. It could be sign of cancer of the throat, lung, or stomach. Even if it is not caused by cancerous diseases, Seeking early treatment can help you recover and feel better sooner. Number 15, bleeding post-menopause. You do not have period over a year and have been suffering from menopause, but out of the blue, there is vaginal bleeding. Then you should see a doctor. While vaginal bleeding post-menopause can be due to other causes such as changes in hormone following a therapy, growth of polyps, and infections. However, such bleeding can also be cancerous symptoms such as uterine or cervical cancer. 
pay immediate attention to such bleeding and seek medical checkup early. In summary, if you experience any of these symptoms, including abnormal period, blood in the stool or urine, persistent tiredness, unexpected weight loss or weight gain, chronic indigestion and nausea, new headaches, shortness of breath, recurring fevers and infections, growth of new moles on your body, changes on your skin, persistent bruises on your body and patches in the mouth, difficulties to swallow and postmenopausal bleeding and it lasts for more than two weeks. It is time to visit your doctor as soon as possible. Inform your doctor about these symptoms so as to make it easier for them to diagnose the disease. Early detection and treatment would enable the person to recover. It would be extremely difficult at the late stage. If you are on weight loss, watch the next video and the videos with links in the description below for effective and natural diets to have a breakthrough in weight loss. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss more videos on how to lose weight, improve health and build muscle. I will see you in the next video and take care.